The lack of support by our city has caused big problems. Early retirements, extremely low morale. We're getting minimal applications from police officers in the city of Grand Rapids. They put our police in a defensive position. They have to protect and serve. They can't be worrying about exactly what they got to do when. They don't want to make mistakes. Believe me, good cops do not like bad cops. As we've seen a couple bad cops create some real issues un unwarranted in, in my, you know, it, it was terrible. But it's not all police. Well, they can't generalize our police. It's not right. One bad officer doesn't make for an entire country that has bad police officers. When he went that night to assist his fellow officers, it was not his call. He wanted to help his fellow members of the Grand Rapids Police Department. And in doing so, he gave up his life. He would have done it in a heartbeat. He was a dedicated member of the Grand Rapids Police Department. We don't want the community to forget that he gave his life. And one thing I can say is this community, Western Michigan, the whole state, all you people here, you've never forgotten our son and we're so appreciative of that. Yeah. An American lady, 14 days ago, I was in her house, I do home improvement sales. Look at me and she said, Mr. Norton, if they defund police, I'm afraid my children are going to be shot. If I say anything, I'm afraid they're going to burn my house down. This is the type of thing that police stand up against every single day of the week.